River also undertook a Vortex Manipulator-aided mission to Atlantis, intending to recover the Crystal of Kronos moments before Atlantis' sinking, and sell it to the Lux Library Foundation. She was surprised to find Atlantis frozen in time in its final instance due to a time eddy created by the crystal, which had turned Atlantis into a space-time waypoint. After her presence was detected by the Fourth Doctor and K-9 Mark I without actually meeting them, she stumbled upon the Tenth Doctor and Martha Jones, taking a quick jaunt to Atlantis. The Doctor was surprised to hear River call him, Sweetie, and call herself his wife, and River realized this was an earlier version of the Tenth Doctor than she was meant to encounter. As a result, before making her escape, she slapped a memory worm on while Ent looking, causing him, but not Martha, to forget the encounter. Having become aware of the temporal crisis, she joined the Twelfth Doctor at another waypoint, the Pandorica Chamber under Stonehenge. Game. Lost in time. Whilst waiting on a beach for the Doctor to turn up for one of their dates, River encountered Jack, who asked her to run away with him. However, she turned him down. River instead attempted to visit the face of Bo, but accidentally arrived at his funeral. Audio, RNJ. River was part of a deep space exploration mission on the Uterpy. On the return journey, the ship began to malfunction, with its computer turning on the passengers, and an additional life sign appeared on board which River mistook for the doctor. He revealed himself as another incarnation of the War Master and picked off River's crew save one who he tricked into incubating a unique life form. River denied him his victory by setting the ship to self-destruct and they were forced to escape together in an escape pod. Upon crash landing, the master revealed he'd done his research into River as promised on Jaska Minor and successfully hypnotized her to forget his involvement in the crash. Audio. Concealed weapon.